This episode of Casual Friday is brought to you by Jack Threads. Even like the worst pulp writer possible, I think, you know, try it slightly harder than Carlos Danger. I mean, Carlos sounds exotic. Danger sounds yeah, dangerous. You're, you're, yeah, you're just like, <laughs> Danger's just doubling down on the Carlos. I, it's a little bit cliche. I feel like he could have done better. Yeah. It's he, just like calling yourself Man Man. So, I mean, you've just been busy all summer doing conventions, or? Um, no, I, Comic-Con was our first big one. Uh, we have VidCon coming up, so that'll be another big one. And then, uh, this is probably the first year that we're gonna try and hit all the other conferences. Uh, like the PAXs. And yeah, the... because I've never been. And it's it's something that I'm like, okay, I've gone to Comic-Con like several times, I'm good. Like I could, I could technically skip one next time, and I'd be, I'd be fine. The movies will still come out, yeah. whether you're there or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean it was fun. Like I enjoy, I enjoy watching like Kevin Smith talk to a giant group or a room of people, and like kind of, he has my sense of humor like that I that I enjoy, and he like inspires. He's been inspiring people for like twenty years. Yeah. From just the way that he got his start. I was, I was, I was relatively young when Clerks came out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I, I when I watched it, but I don't know. It's just it's so interesting, like seeing a guy that's like so about the creation, but also you know he sold his property, and so like seeing the I don't know. I just just getting my mind around like that. That's mm -hmm. really interesting. So, I mean, have, have you had any chance to just relax, play a game, no. something like that? Uh, well, I, uh, I, I, I've been squeezing in, like I usually play Black Ops 2 for like my mindless multiplayer that I can just jump into for an hour, but uh, surprisingly, uh, Last of Us multiplayer is amazing. It's so much fun. And I have three friends that also play. Yeah. And we didn't do that thing where it's like, you're like, get the game, and then they get the game, and then you just stop playing multiplayer. Like we actually did it. Uh, I, I was like, oh, I guess I have to get a PS3 headset, and you suck at it for like six hours. And then it just mm -hmm. clicks. And then it clicks, and you're like, yeah. oh, I just have to throw a smoke bomb, and then I can shank him in the face? Perfect. It is just, it is one of those, I mean, it is the most violent multiplayer I've ever seen. Yes. It's just, it's just, it, I mean, it, it really is, it, it, it's it's bum fighting in video game form <laughs> yeah. with, with sharp objects. I mean, it's, 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 it's awful on one hand, but it, it really, it feels different than Fresh. No, totally. And like the, the team mechanics definitely matter until like, I don't know if you play more Supply Raid or, or Survivors, but in Survivors, it's sometimes the best feeling to just be like the last person because as long as you get to, to a Supply Crate, like you get all these lethals and you just rain down destruction and you feel like a badass <laughs> while they're like taping shit together. See, now I feel like the odd man out because I still haven't played The Last of Us yet. That well, has been on my list for like two months and then I was traveling for a whole month yeah. after it came out. Then I came back and I was like, okay, well, I have to like get back to work and start reviewing games and so now I'm just like, I'm trying to put it off but I, I need to just jump into it. I've been playing like small stuff like Animal Crossing. That could not be as further removed from The Last of Us as anything I know, I, I know, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know how it's going to be going from that to The Last of Us. That I mean, might be quite Animal a Animal Crossing is kind of the perfect summer game. I, I, to my mind, I believe when it came out originally on the GameCube, it was around summertime. When you look at what you're doing in that game, which is yeah. picking fruit, fishing, and paying off debts, there's no way we could play that in October with everything else that's coming out. I don't know if I get it. Can you don't, I, you don't get is, it? Can I say that? Like, I you don't know. I don't get Animal Crossing. Like, it's, I do it, but I don't know why I do it. Okay. It's like Farmville almost, but like, I actually found Farmville to be slightly more compelling in a weird way. Like Animal Crossing, maybe, I mean, this is the first Animal Crossing game that I've played, so I don't know if like, I mean, I know it gets better, so that's why I'm sticking it, 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 with it. It, it. it hasn't matured in its game design or its Yeah, gameplay. there are still so many things where I'm like, the fact that like when you pick up fruit, it won't stack them for you. You have to manually go into the menu every time and stack them yourself. I'm like, why Nintendo, why? Don't make me do this. Like then I start to think that maybe they just do stuff like that to intentionally pad the game or something because it's it's not really the kind of game that you can play for more than like an hour or two at a time. I mean, yeah, I, it, I mean, I loved it on the GameCube. Yes. I don't know if you played it back then where we had one at Tech TV and you and everyone would have their own file on the same memory card, but you could just get into somebody else's town. Mm -hmm. And so we would come in in the morning to see how someone had mucked up your town. I would just be digging holes. People were writing nasty notes about what I was doing to their goats in, in, in the middle of the town hall. <laughs> what were you doing to the goats? <laughs> they, they were saying horrible things. I was rogering their goats, apparently. And, and, and you know, the, the, to be honest, I just, those those type of, you know, gender particulars on that character just don't seem to be 
present. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never got into Farmville. I, uh, I was definitely into Harvest Moon for some reason. And that <laughs> was, I, I get it. It's... That was probably like one of the first games. I forget if it was the first one or however many iterations in where all of a sudden you could get married. And I was like, this is the best game that's ever been made as a kid. And I was like, why do I care? It doesn't make any sense. And that was my first like life sim. And I, I don't like The Sims. Like I don't like those those kind of games, but Harvest Moon got me. Um, the first Animal Crossing, my friend's mom would play it, and then we'd get back to the house and we would play. But she'd also we learned how to cheat because of her, where you could change the time. Mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and she was and one you of the, the fun days. Yeah. It's your birthday, or it's it's snowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've I've been spending the summer trying to pick up on my 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 kind of I was a stack of shame, but there were some games that I should have played, like Saints Row the Third, mm -hmm. which I think came out after. I think right after like the the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, mm -hmm. the year of Skyrim, and so I had hit such a level of burnout on games that yeah. it was like oh, I'll get to it. Yeah. And then I never got to it. To <laughs> then I never got to it. It's so fun though. It's oh so no, I, had, I, I mean I had a blast. I, mean, I was laughing. It was it was a nice, especially after The Last of Us. Right. It's like let's just oh, go yeah. and then, like, you know if you're not gonna go Animal Crossing, <laughs> go to where you 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 have a dildo and you're bonking people on the head and you're just flying a helicopter around blowing yes. things up. <laughs> Rather than like just murdering someone with your hands because you can't find anything in drawers because you're playing on survival. <laughs> you're like ah, it's like I need another pair of scissors so you <laughs> stab someone in the face. If you have to go to a wedding. Mm -hmm. Bar mitzvah or someone's okay. two-year-old birthday party. I would not play or finish Last of Us right prior to it. Okay. It's yeah. It's, it's definitely got a mood and a tone that <laughs> you just sit yeah. around with the little children. Yeah. This is all pointless. <laughs> it's all pointless, and they're just crying. So the 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 other game. It's, this one's kind of embarrassing, but this I had the best excuse for it. That while I was making my transition from LA to San Francisco, and I was kind of waylaid at my parents' house longer than anticipated, I had no game consoles. And watched all these games come out, and, and the one that I missed completely was Assassin's Creed Three. Okay, and th that's a long game. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, really long game. It's a pretty long. You game. finished it? No, I, okay. I'm, I'm like ten hours in, and I finally became an assassin. Yes, <laughs> You're just like just give it, just give it, just give me the outfit. It's all set up before then. It's, it, it, I mean, so, some of it was really, really cool. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm glad I, I chose right before all the games come out to actually right. try to tackle this. Um, because I, I wasn't prepared. I, you know, AC games tend to be on the long side, mm -hmm. but woo! So you've gotten to the naval stuff then, right? I, like, I, I, I blew up one boat of British people. Yeah. And I was like, hey, it was, yeah, it was insane. I'm done for today. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely, it's, it's a fun game. I also like the multiplayer on that game, just mm -hmm. if you can find a good team, because otherwise you just get murdered, because uh, I just feel like they haven't fleshed out the just getting the right people to go against you. You'll be two hours in, and all of a sudden you'll see like a level. A million, and you're just like, awesome. I'm just gonna get murdered because I have everything, <laughs> everything whatsoever. Well, I, I mean, I, I think what's gonna be interesting with with that type of gameplay is that that seems to be what's in Watch Dogs, mm -hmm. but it's integrated more into the single player experience where this, you know, someone slips into your game. They have to pretend they're like the AI in the game as they're trying to hack you, and you're trying to find that guy. Which uh, that's. Yes, I'm all for that. Yes. I, I mean, going back to Animal Crossing, I like getting into someone else's game and making their life miserable. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really the best part of video games. Just I think. trolling. Yeah. Yeah. Griefing. But it's, but it's, but it, you know, when it's sanctioned, yeah. the game itself, it's just, you know. I love that when they, when they revealed it, I think it was at E3, and then they like, they revealed that panel and they're like, he's in his game. And we were like, what? Yeah. That, yeah. That, my brain exploding. That's what we need. More games that encourage people to be assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to assholes. Video games. Hey, if you like Casual Friday and you like to support the show, how about you check out our friends over at Jack Threads? They are the number one online shopping destination for dudes. You can save more than 50% on the latest summer apparel, gear, and gadgets from brands like Converse, Penguin, Nixon, and more. Even better, you can skip the wait list to join and help support Casual Friday by signing up right now at signups.jackthreads.com slash casualfriday. <laughs>